Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. So you might have a meter that you want to upgrade the test seeds, right? But it's, you know, safety certified, right? It's UL, ETL, it's approved by some agency. And the leads are too, that came with it. So, you know, you might not just want to upgrade with any leads, but you might want to be careful. If you're an electrician, HVAC guy working in you know, category three, category four environments, you know, where there's a lot of energy and you want to make sure you don't have an arc flash issue, then yeah, you want to stay with the safe leads, right? You also want to keep those little tips on for the category three, category four stuff, right? So anyway, I'm going to show you three different leads from three different manufacturers that I think are great options, okay? They're the best options I could find. Let me know what options you guys would recommend. Now, I know when it comes to test leads, everybody says Pomona. <laughs> Let me just get that out of the way. So the Pomona leads, the only thing I don't like about them is they're short and this and half the lead it bends over. So you just don't have a lot of security in your hand, I don't think. They do have a huge bump here, you know, the finger guard. So I don't know. I mean, I just would like a little bit longer pencil or a little longer stiff part, you know, at least a little bit more stiff. I really like that part, but having a probe that short, I mean, this is all the tension relief here. So your probes are so, anyway, so that's my probe master thing. I like probe masters. Uh, not actually my favorites anymore. I did another video where I have a really low cost option that I like better. So anyway, let me start off with the most expensive pair. I'm going to show them. I took them out of the packages, okay, uh, just to speed this up. And this is the first pair. This is from Field uh, Piece. Field Piece is, Amer they're all American companies. Field Piece uh, 1990 was started, okay, California. And now they're international, I think. But anyway, um, so a couple things right off the bat. Shorter leads. So if you want shorter leads, this might be your option here. Uh, also, if you like, now they're nice and skinny, like a pencil size. So if you like that, um, the, and then see how narrow this part is. So you can really see what you're stabbing, what you're getting into. There's not a big finger guard, but this is neck down so tight that I think that helps you. But plus you can hold it back here and still, it is soft back here. Now these are, so these are made by field piece. Let me show you the close-ups. All right, guys, so here's what the pencils look like. Nice close-up version here. Uh, nice narrow, right? You can see how narrow they are. The little finger guard, pretty small, right? Now, th this part here, the part that makes them category three or four, is says so right here on the tip, see? Right there on the package. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because when you remove that and they do come off, it is, they don't come off easy, right? Uh, then it says category two. Okay, that's here for bench work. All right, so, and then you can see the tips, they're gold plated, okay? Fairly long. There's no threads here and there's no uh, little ring. That little indent that you see on leads is basically just a gold stake, okay? So, if that's all you want in the test seed, these might be the guys. Uh, now, like I said, oh, here, let me show you something interesting on these. The tension reliefs back here on the back part, see how I can pull these and they kind of bend over? It's interesting because it's just a big old basket. You see that? So it lets the lead kind of move around. I thought that was interesting. And then this thing's really soft and flexible, This little, these little baskets back here. Okay, and it's the same thing on this end. But there is, what I like is there's a nice ridge here you can grab. And yeah, the shape of them, anyway, they're pretty nice. Uh, now the inside of them, let me pop off the cap, has a little red protective tip. I think that's a safety thing so you don't get an arc when you touch this the metal thing here down to your meter. So I think that's why that's there. But anyway, there you go. Uh, and also there's the listing on the thing. These are all 18 gauge wires, by the way. These are silicon rubber. Oh, here, let me also show you 
the little booty they, they send with it. So you get these silicon booties. I lost the one on the black one, but yeah, you just pull that off. That's just for, you know, so you're not stabbing things. So it's kind of good to keep them. I don't know how I lost it, but I did. All right, guys, so that's the first one, okay? And they're like the most expensive, like I said. I'm going to just tell you, they're like 52 bucks. I didn't see a sale price, so they might go on sale. I don't know, but that's filled piece, okay? Now, here, let me show you the next set. It's the next most expensive set. It's just a little bit cheaper, but it's the E version. This is a TL-175E, okay, the Fluke. Now, I'll show you the length difference between the short ones and long ones. See how it's like 18 inches longer, maybe. So, yeah, it's quite a bit longer. And the other ones I'm going to show you are the same length as the Fluke. So, but here's the pencil. Let me show you close up of that. There's what the pencils look like. So you can see how these are bigger. This one does have the threads and it does have the little ridge on the bas uh, the top of the tip. So it takes different kinds of attachments, right? Now, the cool thing about this, pretty genius, I think, is the twist guard, they call it. So, and the red one's really stiff, like it, you hear it click in and click out. So when you click in, it says category three, category four, and you can see how much of the tips coming out, just a little bit, okay? All right, so that, that's what makes that safe. It exposes less of the tips, so it just makes it safer. Now the black one uh, turns a little bit easier. Like the red one, when you, when you suck it all the way in, it clicks. So I don't know why there's a difference. My, oh, I have an old set over here, and they work like this one even a little bit softer. So I thought they were just getting wore out, but then the black one here, I'm like, well, it works about the same. The red ones has a positive click and then a positive click in both directions. Okay, now these, uh, this plastic up here is hard plastic, the part you're actually gonna hold, okay, with your finger guard, unless you're gonna hold back here maybe, because back here it's this soft, uh, I think it's Sanoprene is what they use. But I'm not positive about that, guys. But these are silicon leads, okay? Both of these, silicon rubber, okay? So very flexible, very nice. Now, look at the uh, flutes other end. So they're nice and flexible, okay? So, again, both sets, very nice. Uh, just different features. I do like the 175Es. I guess that's why I've got two sets, but... One set was an old set a friend gave me, so I can't really take credit for that. Oh, here. Now, here, let me show you the third set. It's made by Pomona. Now, Pomona is owned by the same company that owns Fluke, Danaher Corporation. They bought Pomona in 1999 or 98, something like that. And like five years later, roughly, they bought Fluke. So, now, here's the Pomona. So, you can see they're about the same size diameter and everything now the pomonas they are kind of torpedo shaped they're kind of fat in the middle and narrow on both ends and they don't have as much give but they do have some kind of see that so they do have some give i mean i think that's nice no problem there thing i don't like about like most of the flukes and these pomonas which i guess they probably come from pomona is this little cap now first of all that tip barely comes out. That tip is very, it's just barely coming out of there. So, but these things like just pop off so easy. So yeah, I don't like that for a safety uh, mechanism to come off so easy, just to pop off so easy. So I do like the first ones better because they're, you know, most other brands, you know, you have to pull on them, right? The field piece are very snug. So anyway, there there you go. So that's that's what they look like. Um, there's category rating right there. It says category three and four, category two, and they're category two when you take off the caps. Okay. So now these, they when I first took them out and the way they just kind of fell, you know, these leads here when I first take them out of the case and they just fell apart like that. I thought, wow, they're not PVC. But I thought I read, so I went back and checked. Yeah, they say PVC. I think there's two layers, and the inner layer might be uh, polypropylene. Not sure about that. Now, I know that 
the, up here, it's polypropylene on the inner layer, and on the outer layer, it's at santoprene, okay? So, yeah, I don't know, guys, but they say PVC, but man, they... So, Pomona can make a very flexible PVC. I don't know why they don't do that with flukes, leads, they, the TL-72s or 75s or whatever they are that they put in, you know, all the meters. Um, yeah, those are terrible, I think. My humble opinion. But yeah, here you go. Now, here's the price on these, 27 bucks. But let me back up a little bit. Remember on the on the second one, the fluke, I told you you could save seven bucks on those? So here's the, the thing. The, for seven dollars more, so if you buy them for $50, 29 cents, then you get this little basket. See that little basket? It's a strong spring. Let me put it on here, it's so easier to see. So you can put it on here. So when you're doing category two stuff here at your bench, there's a knurled thing up here at the top where you can grab it and turn it. But yeah, then you have a basket on the end. Okay. So that's a nice feature, but they do cost seven bucks for these two things. And they are very nice. So if you like that feature, it might add, a, you know, enough use cases that maybe it's worthwhile to do that and turn them into banana jacks. But they are a very nice spring. I like those. So if you get the one with the basket, it's TL-175E. Oh, here, let me just show you. So you get the E, okay? This is the box that came in, by the way. Okay? This is how the field piece came. It came in this little Ziploc bag. Okay, that's the field piece. And this is the way the Pomona came. It came in this little bucket, okay? Now, let me just show you that. It's a 5898. So that's how the Pomona came, okay? Just this little plastic box. So not a lot of wasted packaging or anything like that. Uh, so there you go. I just took my other packaging to make this a quicker video. There's three test leads, a couple right around 50 bucks, and then the other ones, uh, which, by the way, they call them the extra durables, the ones from Pomona. And Pomona has a bunch of different styles, but for the electrician, uh, that wants a really durable probe, that might be the one, okay? Now, hey, let me just show you one thing when we're talking about durability. My older set of flukes, now these were actually given to me by a buddy, okay? So see that there's barely a tip sticking out of there, barely. And see how it's, it's right where that ring was. It just, it's like he broke them off. It's like, he, man, I don't know what he did, but yeah, he, He's pretty tough on them. So, yeah, they still have a more of a positive click than that new black one I have, I guess. But, yeah, I guess I could probably trim off a little bit of the plastic on the end, expose a little bit more lead, and maybe sharpen it up. But, yeah, I mean, the rest of them look like they're in ideal shape. Which, by the way, guys, uh, safety tip, always check your probes. I mean, you know, every so often, just check them and see if there's any cuts or nicks or whatever. You want to make sure you have insulation all the way through. You want to make sure that something didn't scratch it off because I've had test seeds where they rubbed on a sharp corner or something and it scalloped part of the lead off. Well, then you're losing your insulation that you need. So if you're in category three, category four environments, you want your leads to look, your insulation to look pristine. Okay. So there you go, guys. Two big thumbs up to my patrons as always and to my members of my channel as always. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you. Danny, thanks for being a team member. Appreciate you. Uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee, you know, beer, whatever. Just had my birthday weekend, so that's why I didn't get a... I had a full-size video I was going to do on... Um, I got a couple projects going on, so just wasn't able to finish those. And I redid this video just to make it shorter because taking them out of the packages, doing everything was a lot longer. The video was twice this length. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Free way to support your channel is just say you like the video, hit the thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you haven't done so. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I just thought this might be helpful. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.